Hello everyone, Buddy here at House of Props and today I'm going to make some of the arrows seen in the Hawkeye season finale. I selected a couple from the sequence and several from this amazing group shot. These arrows were created in AutoCAD and then printed on an Ender 3 Pro. A link to the free files and print settings can be found below. While they are printing, go ahead and hit those subscribe and notification buttons so you can be notified when a new build is released. You can also scan this code to see previous builds. Once the tips were finished printing, I used a 120 grit sandpaper followed by a 180 grit to smooth away the print lines. As you sand, you can see what areas have been smoothed and which have not. Just continue rotating between the two sandpapers until the object is completely smooth. When they're ready, I glue them onto scrap pieces of wood. This will make them easier to prime and paint. First, I use a 2-in-1 filler and sandable primer. I apply three coats and smooth each coat with 180 grit sandpaper. While the primer dries, I'm going to prepare the arrow shafts. I purchased these for under $2 each at my local Supercenter. They have a metal tip, which I removed with a fine tooth hand saw. The shafts are then painted black with a flat black spray paint. Once the primer coats are finished and have dried, spray the tips with a high gloss black spray paint. This high gloss aids in helping them look like metal in the end. When the paint has dried, I used a mirror chrome paint to achieve a very nice metallic finish. You will notice I have taped off the areas which need to remain black. This is the best metallic paint I have found on the market that gives you a very nice metal looking finish in the end. When the mirror chrome is dry, I seal the tips with a clear spray varnish. I attach the Stark Industries label onto the tip with CA glue. You can also print this on a water cling paper if you wanted. I forgot to leave a black band around the top of this arrow. So I'm masking the areas I want to remain silver and using the high gloss black spray paint again. On this PIM particle tip, I am using a small brush and some red acrylic to paint the recessed logo. I use gray acrylic and these small dents around the top of this arrow. And around the center band. The other two bands are painted with a metallic copper. For the tranquilizer dart, I take several pieces of red yarn and glue them into the hole with CA glue. Once secure, I use scissors to clean up the ends. Finally, the arrowheads are attached to the ends of the shafts using CA glue. Make sure to align these correctly in order to avoid wonky ends. And there you have it! Some of the arrows and a tranquilizer dart from the amazing sequence in the season finale where Clint and Kate are assembling a new batch of arrows. Go ahead and give this build a shot. It's pretty easy and the files are free.
If you are enjoying these videos, be sure to give them a thumbs up and subscribe. And remember, if you are building any of my builds or using any of my templates, feel free and tag me at House of Props on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok because I would really like to see your fantastic work. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.